Welcome to our video on Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, often referred to as OCD. Today, we're going to explore what OCD is, what its symptoms are, how it's diagnosed, and the treatment options available. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder is a mental health condition characterized by persistent, unwanted thoughts, known as obsessions, and repetitive behaviors or mental acts, known as compulsions. These obsessions and compulsions can significantly interfere with daily life. Let's start with the obsessions. Individuals with OCD may experience intrusive thoughts about various fears. For example, they might worry excessively about contamination, leading to an intense fear of germs. Another common obsession is the fear of harming oneself or others, often causing significant distress. These thoughts can be overwhelming and feel uncontrollable, leading individuals to believe they must take action to alleviate their anxiety. Now, let's discuss compulsions. Compulsions are behaviors that individuals feel compelled to perform in response to their obsessions or according to rigid rules. For example, someone might wash their hands multiple times to reduce the fear of germs, or they may check locks repeatedly to ensure safety. While these behaviors can provide temporary relief, they ultimately reinforce the cycle of anxiety as the obsessions return. The exact cause of OCD remains unclear but it is believed to be a combination of genetic, biological, and environmental factors. Research suggests that certain brain structures may be involved in OCD, and people with a family history of the disorder may be at higher risk. OCD can affect anyone, regardless of age or gender, although symptoms typically start during childhood or early adulthood. Often, individuals might feel ashamed or embarrassed about their symptoms, which can delay treatment and lead to further distress. Diagnosis of OCD typically involves a comprehensive evaluation by a mental health professional. They will assess the nature and severity of obsessions and compulsions and how they impact daily functioning. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, the DSM-5, is commonly used for diagnosis, where specific criteria must be met. Treatment for OCD generally involves therapy, medication, or a combination of both. The most effective form of therapy for OCD is called cognitive behavioral therapy, specifically a technique known as exposure and response prevention, or ERP. ERP gradually exposes individuals to their fears in a controlled manner and helps them refrain from engaging in compulsive behaviors. Over time, this can lead to reduced anxiety and help break the cycle of OCD. In some cases, medication may also be prescribed. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, are commonly used to help reduce symptoms. While medication can help, it works best in conjunction with therapy to create a comprehensive treatment plan. Living with OCD can be challenging, but there are several strategies that individuals can use to manage their symptoms. First, building a strong support system with friends, family, or support groups can make a significant difference. Open communication about feelings and struggles help reduce feelings of isolation. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation and deep breathing, can also aid in managing symptoms of anxiety linked to OCD. Regular exercise has been shown to foster a sense of well-being and reduce stress, contributing positively to mental health. For those feeling overwhelmed, it's crucial to seek help. Remember that reaching out for support is a sign of strength, and effective treatments are available. If you or someone you know is struggling with obsessive compulsive thoughts and behaviors, don't hesitate to consult a mental health professional. They can provide a tailored approach to treatment and help you find relief. Thank you for joining us today to learn about obsessive compulsive disorder. It is important to raise awareness and share knowledge about mental health to reduce stigma and encourage those in need to seek help. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from this information. Together, we can foster a better understanding of mental health conditions like OCD. Take care, and remember, you are not alone in this fight.